Welcome my dear friends and students. NEET 2023 registration form is out now and I insist you all to register it earlier without any delay. So this video helps you all by letting you know the step by step procedure of filling out the application form of NEET 2023 without any mistakes. So friends, before get started, I just want to insist you what are the documents that you have to keep it with you so that there will be no delay on your registration process. So let us see what are the documents that you usually need. The first document that you have to need is your passport size photograph, right? Your passport size photograph. So the image size would be 10 KB to 200 KB, right? And then the image format must be in JPG format. So within that, you can be able to see passport size photograph. Below that, you have to mention your name. So you can be able to see here candidate's name. And after that, note the point that date of taking the photograph. So in which date that you took your photograph must have to be mentioned here. And nextly, postcard size photograph. So for that also, the particulars are same. So below that, you have to mention your candidate's name. You have to mention your name and then date of taking the photograph are also to have to be mentioned here. And usually the image size is 10 KB to 200 KB. The image format must be in JPG format. And the next one that you have needed is left and right hand fingers and thumb impressions. So you usually have to keep your 10 finger impressions on A4 paper and then scan and upload it. And the image size is usually 10 KB to 200 KB. And it must be in JPG format. And for next one, your signature. So make sure your signature must be similar in your 10th mark sheet. So that image size is usually 4 KB to 30 KB. And then the image format is also in JPG format. So these are the documents that you have needed on your registration process. So apart from this, you should also need your community certificate, address proof, and also your 10th mark sheet is also needed. So yeah guys, let's get start our registration process. Now you can able to see here, this is the official website of NEET UG. So when you go downwards, here they used to give an option like NEET UG 2023 registration. When you click it, just click OK here. It guides you to the registration page. So you can able to see here, new registration option is given here. You have to go for it because you are newly going to register, right? So you have to click within it and it guides you to the first page. So within that, you can see your fee structure that they used to give. And this page is usually about all the instruction regarding your application procedure. So don't worry guys, I will guide you. So you have to click within here within the checkbox. So I have downloaded the information bulletin of national eligibility come entrance test UG 2020. Kindly click here to proceed. And afterwards, yeah, we are here at the first step of the registration. So you have to enter your name, candidate's name. So the name that you are going to enter here must be similar in your 10th mark sheet. So then your father or guardian name and then mother or guardian name and then your date of birth here and kindly enter your gender and then your nationality after that give your identity type so if you having your class 12th admit card issued by the board kindly enter here or even you can give your election card passport or even ration card with photograph bank passbook or finally any other valid government identity with photograph here right so it is nothing but you can give your other card so after that, you have to enter your identity number here and then usually present address, enter your address here, your locality, your country, your state and enter your district, district pin code, enter your mobile number, confirm your mobile number again, email address, confirm your email address again and then give any alternate contact number so you can able to give your parents number. If you have to enter the same particulars here also, just click the checkbox here and it usually enter the particulars that you have mentioned above and then finally choosing your password so for that your password must be 8 to 13 character long it has at least one uppercase one lowercase one numerical value and one special characters like at or hash so you can able to see here right so you have to enter at least one special character here so after that, enter the security question and also the security answer here. And finally, enter your security pin here and then click submit. So once you get submitted your particulars, after that, one notification will pop up below you. So if you need to change any information, you can go for edit registration form 
or else press submit and send OTP button. It's up to you. So after that, kindly review all the information that you have given is correct. So after viewing all the particulars, if you found everything is correct, then kindly go for the checkbox here. Kindly tick all the particulars here that you have produced it. And finally, just give I agree. So after clicking I agree, kindly click submit and send OTP. So again, all the particulars regarding that you have entered, usually visualize in front of you. Kindly check everything. After that, an OTP pops up on your phone. Kindly enter the OTP here. If you doesn't receive any OTP, kindly resend OTP here. So after that, we can able to see the current status of our registration form. So registration details that we have completed. So application form is not completed yet. And then we have also not completed the fees payment. So just click complete application form. So these all the details that we have to give. Kindly click to the next page. You can see. So yeah, we have completed our contact details. So the next one is our personal detail. So Again, you have to enter your name. So after completing your contact details, we are entering into personal details. So kindly enter all the personal details here and enter your nationality and the state in which you have passed your 12th equivalent and your category if you are SC, ST or OBC, NCL. So don't forget that you have to produce your certificates. So even if your certificates is not available, it's not a problem because in the information bulletin, you can able to see the format. You can just fill it up and also you can able to submit it. So no worries if you doesn't have your certificate, kindly fill the particulars in the information bulletin so you can able to submit it over there. And if you are diabetic, give yes or no, give your place of residence and select your fa annual family income and your minority and your country of residence. So enter your country of residence after that. After that, enter the mode of preparation. If you are self-study, individual tuition, so give the particulars in which you are preferring for. And then kindly enter your security pin. So after that, we have completed the second detail, which is our personal detail. And then we are getting into other details. So this page, they usually used to ask if you have your other number. If yes, it usually guides you to the next page. So you can fill your application number, candidate's name, gender and candidate's date of birth. If you want to produce your other card number, kindly click yes. If you are not willing, then click this option. So enter your other card number if you are willing to give them. And after that, in the final page, just click I confirm that I have read and understood all the instruction as described above. Kindly click it and give your security pin and give the submit and next option so yeah we are in the next stage apply for and exam center details the first one is question paper medium so which medium you prefer for is usually displayed here you can able to click which medium you usually prefer for and then your city's first choice so exam your exam must be in which state or which city is usually choose by you I kindly prefer everyone to select the city in which is more comfortable for you because the first choice is the one that they usually look for. So just select the city or even, uh, you know, state which is more comfortable for you. So after selecting the city and second choice. So nextly, you can give your father or guardian occupation and then father or guardian qualification and then mother or guardian occupation. Again, mother or guardian qualification. And then finally enter your security pin here. And after entering your security pin, just click save and next. Okay, next we are here at the qualification detail. Kindly enter all your 10th qualification details here. So your past status, your year of passing or appearing, qualifying exam, place of, place of schooling, type of school or college, qualifying examination state, qualifying examination district, your school board result mode. Just kindly enter all the particulars here. So after getting completed your 10th equivalent qualification details, they used to ask your 11th or equivalent qualification details. It's same as here. You can also able to enter all the particulars here. And then enter your 12th or equivalent qualification details. Of course, if you are the one who is appearing for, kindly enter us that you are appearing. So no problem for it. So after entering it, kindly enter your security pin here. So yeah, we have completed our qualification details. 
and we are getting into additional details. So if you are a twin and both applying for NEET UG, just kindly click yes or no. And then did you ever appear in NEET UG exam? Kindly click yes or no. And your place of birth, kindly mention your state and district here. And finally, enter your security pin and click save and next. So after that, we are getting into emergency contact detail. So it is an emergency contact detail of parents or guardian. Okay, so you can enter your country code after that the mobile number of your parent or guardian and then enter the email address of them which is usually your parent or guardian and then enter your security pin after verifying your security pin kindly send otp like get otp so after you clicking like get otp usually the mobile number and on the email address that you have mentioned you will pop up an otp just kindly enter into it and click verify and next here and after completing emergency contact detail, we are here at the document upload. So firstly, you have to upload your passport size photograph with 80% face without mask. So choose your file and after that left and right hand fingers and thumb impressions. You have to upload the file here. Afterwards, your signature, your postcard size photograph and upload your 10th certificate. And finally, upload your present, you know, address proof. You have to upload here. And most importantly, students, when you are uploading your 10th certificate, it must be in a PDF format. Along with that, while you are uploading your address proof, it must be also in a PDF format. After that, enter your security pin here and save and next. So, this is the review page online application form. So, you have to review all the details that you have entered here. And kindly verify if the all the information that you have mentioned above is correct. And finally give I agree and then final submission of application. So we can able to see here we have entered the registration details and after that we also viewed our application form and final procedure is fees payment. So after verifying your mobile number and email ID you will get a page like this. So within that kindly click into pay examination fee. So for me, they used to alert some kind of amount. It's depend upon you. So after pay examination fees, they used to give a mode of payment page here. So select mode of payment. So we can able to click here, proceed for payment. So this is the next page, which usually guides you. So you can select your comfortable mode of payment here. So after that, proceed for payment. So here you can able to see, enter your card number and card holder name and make payment for the rupees that they usually allotted for you. So yeah guys, we are at the end of the procedure. So after completing your mode of payment, they used to display the confirmation page. Kindly download it for your further references. Thank you. All the best for your preparations.